hello, welcome back to another vlog. This is week three of vlogging every Saturday, or I vlog Friday and then post this Saturday. Today, uh, there's a couple things I wanna talk about or mention, and the last couple of vlogs will kinda of go through my day. That includes the breakfast I just made, that'll include some of the music I'm working on, probably a workout, and then wrapping it up. So, if you've been enjoying the vlogs, go ahead and leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like music and the vlogs, and me trying to make my channel a little bit more personable. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. I will say for all the people who do do cooking channels, it is really hard to get the cadence right on cooking and filming. So, props to everybody that cooks and films. So one of the things that I want to talk about in today's vlog is making sure that you're comfortable showing people the things that you're working on. So for me, and making the vlogs and making videos um, almost for a year now, consistently, one of the things that have been, not plaguing me, but have been one of the things I think about a lot is making sure that the content that I produce isn't just, oh, I'm showing it to whoever will watch it, but to have the kind of drive to make it content that people want to watch, that people, if they're watching it in front of you, you don't kind of cringe at it and that you're happy with it. So that's something that I want to kind of go through and talk about how I'm personally beating that kind of thought and how you could too. And coffee of the day. The first one, I always drink them ice, so it's in this cup, and I'm just waiting for it to freeze, and I'll pour my new coffee in there. So there's two things that I want to talk about, and these are both regarding to the previous thing that I said, and those are kind of what to do when you're making, want to avoid making content that you're not happy to show people. The couple of things I want to talk about is make types of videos that you're proud of. They don't have to be videos that are matching people who are doing other videos like you. So like for example, when I was growing up, or I still am growing up, but when I was little, I used to watch Casey Neistat. Everybody watched him, he was huge, and he always made those vlogs, and it's like, oh, he's kind of the gold standard of vlogging. I want to make vlogs like him and other people will watch them. But if you don't want to make a vlog like that, don't make it like that. It doesn't have to be structured. It doesn't have to be some type of pattern that you're following for the vlog. It just has to be what you want to make it. And make things that you want to make. Make it have cool transitions. Make it have cool effects. Make it have side pieces where you're showing certain things instead of it just following this kind of vlog style, like a typical vlog style. Make things that you're proud of. That way when you show them or other people watch them or when you look back at it that you're proud to see that you're proud that you made that then and you compare it now and then assuming you're still doing the same content with that being said too if you're making content and you release it and you're not really proud of it don't release it you don't have to if you're trying to follow a schedule you can always push it back a little bit it's kind of your terms of course that might not help with some anticipation if you have an audience but don't make something that's not proud of tell your audience hey it's gonna be an extra day I you know I'm not proud of the result or hey anything along Along those lines because they're your audience they're your fans they want to see what you're coming out with so have content that you're proud to show them so right now I'm working on a new in screen for my videos with my new logo because I haven't switched it over so we're gonna kind of go through that Other plan of action today too is if you've seen any of the shorts I made for recoil I spent a good probably hour on each 15 to 30 second video and they aren't really performing like I thought they would so a lot of the times if you've seen any of my shorts or if that's what you found me from I'll just record it of my laptop screen and the song that I'm working on and that always seems to get a good amount of plays like maybe between 500 and a thousand which is good for me and it's not, they didn't, none of them really performed well. So if we look into the analytics, so if we just go into my content here, you can see if I just click shorts, you can see that three views, seven views, 13 views, 24 views, and 67. And if we go ahead and go to my YouTube, we go to my main channel here. Go 
Go back and watch the videos, you can see I put a good amount of time into them, and they didn't really perform like I didn't want to, which of course it's, it's whatever, it happens I'm sure. Just finished that, just uh, put a background with some transitions in between here, I'll show you how it looks. So that background kind of just plays throughout the whole thing, and um... Yeah, I'll repost that. That way, if you miss the shorts, you can watch the video and kind of see what the EP is going to be like. And I think I'm going to write some metal now. Me and some of my friends have been working on some songs that are in that metal genre. And I want to write some new material that way when we have time to get together that we can work on some stuff, some new material. So I think I'm going to do that and then I'll work out because it's 4.56 and the sun is still out and I live in California and it's 90 degrees outside. So I think that's the move. So we'll see you in a bit. So I came up with a little something. Yamaha turn, whoops. <laughs> Alexa, turn on the Yamahas. All right, so here's what I came up with. And uh, here's, I'll just show you the breakdown. So I write all this in MIDI. That way we can play it otherwise or attempt to play it. And this is what I came up with. So nothing too special. Wrote some chorus parts and some verse parts and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna record a few vocal ideas over it and then I'll go from there. Just recorded a vocal idea. This is what I came up with. I'm not really happy with it, but whatever. Honestly, if you guys ever feel unmotivated to work out or whatever, just listen to this this live song by Wage War. So pretty quick workout, I'm um, probably going to take about maybe 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer than 45 minutes, so nothing too big, that's including stretching and playing a little bit of basketball, and um, you can clearly see that I'm an amazing basketball player. Um, anyways, we are going to make dinner now, and by make dinner, I mean I'm going to eat some leftovers that I made a little bit, a couple of days ago, it's just like noodles, beef, carrots, stuff like that, just like a hearty meal. That'll be my post-workout meal, and if I eat again, I'll probably show it, but otherwise, I think that's gonna wrap up the night, so we'll see what I do in the next clip. So, if you're wondering what I eat after I work out, these are elbow noodles, carrots, spinach, potatoes, beef, and some seasoning. So, that's what I'm gonna eat now, and uh, that's it. Sit. Good girl. Shake. Shake. Good girl. Well, I hope if that was the first vlog that you've watched from me, you learned something. I don't do too much besides work on music and work and work out sometimes when I can. If you learned anything, leave a like. If you want to keep seeing more vlogs, also leave a like. And with all this being said, thank you for watching and we'll see you again on the next vlog. Oh,